Right. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> Can you count me down? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening in all, every part or any part of the world that you are. Uh, this is rem- really remarkable news and I am your host for uh, today, Bulelwa Mafani. Today uh, we are going to be talking about a topic, fighting food waste South African style. Empty shelves, panic buying, stockpiling, we are all familiar with some of the supermarket buzzwords that have been in the spotlight through 2020. But away from these panic-fueled problems, we want to share some positive story about an issue that never goes away, surplus stock. While non-perishables have been such high demand, the leftover fresh produce dilemma hasn't gone away. So we're heading to South Africa for today's tale of pandemic philanthropy. During the peak of the country's lockdown, two of every five adults said their household had lost its primary source of income. And in April, almost half had run out of money to buy food. A highly stressful situation wherever you are in the world. In an extensive effort to tackle this high level of food insecurity, the kind souls at the supermarket giant ShopRite Group stepped forward. They set about distributing unsold fruit and veg, unused dairy products, and untouched meat and fish to hundreds of vulnerable people. Since March, this army of lockdown leftover lieutenants has donated more than 35 million rands worth of surplus food, a staggering amount which equates to 300,000 rands per day over 185 days. That's one huge mountain of food which would have otherwise gone to waste. ShopRite identified 327 grassroots organizations from old age homes to orphanages and put their impressive logistical operation into action. A compassionate move which has helped so many groups across the country tasked with feeding the hungry. And their generosity doesn't stop there. Already operating a fleet of mobile soup kitchens, ShopRite decided to increase their numbers from 19 to 26. Together, they've served more than 2 million people this year, supporting over 2,500 organizations. Not content with these two epic efforts, they've also encouraged customers to donate 2 million to their Act for Change fund. This cash, with the, which the company has matched with a further 2 million rands, is funding COVID-19 relief work across the country. Being able to buy food is such a basic human need. So we salute the Good Samaritans at ShopRite for playing their part in South Africa's looming hunger crisis. In an extensive effort to tackle this high level of food insecurity, the kind souls at the supermarket giant ShopRite Group stepped forward. In an extensive effort to tackle this high level, oh my God, <laughs> can I do that again? Oh, okay, Richard. I'm going to start all over, if you don't mind. 